Hello and welcome to this week's episode of Nacho Problems, where we turn ordinary recipes into extraordinary nachos. I'm Nacho Queen, but you can call me M. We're continuing on our world tour this week by traveling to the Middle East to make falafel nachos. Falafels are made from broad beans or chickpeas that are ground up with some herbs and spices and fried into either balls or fritters. This will be a vegetarian friendly dish and could even be vegan with just one substitution. Let's get started. Step one, the chips. Now falafel is often served in pitas, but I think we've overdone the pita chip thing. So instead let's make the falafel our chip. And for that we need two cans chickpeas, which are sometimes called garbanzo beans. These should be drained and rinsed. A quarter cup parsley, a quarter cup cilantro, now because we can't eat cilantro, I'll be subbing in extra parsley in mine. Two cloves garlic, one shallot, three tablespoons flour, two teaspoons cumin, one teaspoon paprika, one teaspoon salt, and one and a half tablespoons of lemon juice. We're gonna start by tossing all of that into our food processor, Cuisinart Garfunkel here. Next, we're gonna pulse it a few times. We're going for well combined, but not completely smooth. We want a little texture left in it, but not any huge chunks of chickpeas. Be sure to scrape down the bowl once to get anything stuck to the sides. Now, you can roll this into balls and deep fry it if you want, but we're going for something just a bit healthier today. So we're gonna break out Swifty here and air fry them. I've set my air fryer to 350 degrees Fahrenheit or about 175C. I'm going to brush a little oil on the bottom of my basket. This will keep the falafels from sticking and help to crisp them up. Now I'm gonna scoop up a bit of the mixture and form it into a little patty. I'm not making these into the round balls that you might be used to because, well, we need them to be chip shaped. We'll place these in the fryer and cook for about eight minutes. Then we're gonna flip them over and cook for another five to six minutes. And that's our chips. Next up is step two, the cheese. For our cheese, we'll be making a tahini sauce. And for that we need half a cup of tahini, a quarter cup Greek yogurt. This is the only non-vegan ingredient in the dish, so swap it out for a plant-based yogurt if you'd like. One and a half tablespoons lemon juice, two tablespoons olive oil, and about half a cup of hot water. Combine the tahini, yogurt, olive oil, and lemon juice in a small bowl and stir well. Once it's all combined, it's going to be a pretty thick consistency, similar to peanut butter. Now we're just going to add in the hot water until we've got it down to something a little more pourable. Start out by adding about a quarter cup and then add more if it's still too thick. Be very careful when stirring after you've added the hot water so that you don't splash and burn yourself. Okay, I think that'll do. Let's move on to step three, the toppings. For the toppings, we've got some red onions, some tomatoes, and some more parsley. You might also wanna add some cilantro. Nothing to do here, so let's skip ahead to step four, let's eat. Start off with the falafel. Add plenty of the sauce. Top with some of the tomatoes and onions. And finally finish with a sprinkle of parsley. I must say, I'm loving all the color on this plate. Let's see who's gonna be taste tester. Hmm, looks like Karma caught up with Cameraman for trying to get out of it last week. Let's see how he likes these. He said they were okay. The falafel had good crunch, but was pretty dry. You definitely need a lot of the sauce. They weren't really lacking in flavor though, so that was good. Well, that's all for this week. I hope you enjoyed it. If so, give it a like and please consider subscribing if you want to see more nacho videos. If you have an idea for a future video, you can leave a comment below or tag me on the site previously known as Twitter. I'm at NachoProblemsYT. I've also linked my blue sky below, but you won't find me on Facebook, Instagram, or threads. If you're looking to steal my apron, well, that's nacho merch, but you can get your own at a link in the description. Now, we recently adopted a new dog who unfortunately thinks that anyone approaching our house is a threat to our very survival. But unless you're a dog trainer in my area with reasonable rates and experience dealing with neurotic animals or an unsuspecting delivery driver, that's not your problem. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.